Welcome back to Chicago Cars Direct. Today we're going to spend some time with a 2003 Ford Mustang Cobra convertible. Under the hood of the Cobra, you're going to find the familiar 4.6 liter V8 engine. Now, for the 03 and 04 model years, the Cobra was supercharged. Uh, so this does have a supercharger motor right on top of the block, but uh, in stock form, which this car completely is stock, uh, makes 390 horsepower. Uh, that's no slouch of a car, but this is original one owner car. It's got 4,600 miles on it, and it's in brand new condition. I mean, there's not even stone chips across the front. Uh, taking a look inside, it's routed to a six-speed manual, which is in turn routed to the rear wheels. Uh, these are pretty rare cars, and to find a Cobra that's really in this kind of condition, uh, it's a tough find. But let's take a walk around it, show you exactly what I mean. I normally like to highlight the imperfections on these, but uh, I don't have anything to fault. Uh, this came from a, you know, it's a one-owner car, so it came from a very loving home. Obviously, the miles on it are perfect. Uh, but, I mean, look across the whole front down there. I mean, even the plastic along the lower part, that little rub strip, uh, is perfect. Uh, the hood, this is a Cobra-specific hood with the uh, vents up here. Uh, you can really see, I mean, I, I, I don't have a whole lot to call out here. Uh, this is a uh, darker, like a titanium finish wheel here. You got Eagle F1 tires on here. These were the original factory standard. They are size 275, 40, ZR17 front and rear, but brand new condition. I don't think this thing's ever seen a hard mile in its life. Uh, look at the reflection down there. All in factory original condition. No previous accident history, no paint work, no anything like that. It's 100% factory original. Uh, coming around to the back, you can see the proper SVT badge. Uh, if you look closely to it, you can see there's a uh, anniversary badge on there for the SVT team. It was the anniversary of their inception, I believe. But then looking down the passenger side, the condition is uniform all the way down. You can use the keyless to pop the trunk here, but one thing I've always liked about the Mustang is you do really have a, uh, a real trunk. Uh, you do have the uh, special 10th anniversary SVT floor mats here, but uh, take a look in here. And the roof being up and down doesn't really compromise the trunk size. Um, you do have a bunch of the new parts. You got the original wheel lock, uh, front plate frame if you so need it, all the uh, you know normal paperwork from Ford there, and then below the floorboard here, you find an untouched spare. This car has the optional uh, red inserts. I'm not sure if it's a standalone or if it's just the uh, trim package, but I can't fault this interior for anywhere. Uh, the bolsters are even perfect, so I'm going to be super careful just getting into this car. But traditional to most of the Mustangs, the reason the Mustang sells so well is because it's so traditionally easy to use, uh, just as a conventional car. You sit up normally, uh, the Camaro and Firebird, you always laid down and it was kind of a more sporting driving position, but uh, everything in here feels brand new. I mean, even the leather on the steering wheel. Uh, I, you know, I worked at a Ford dealer in high school, so I remember what these cars were like brand new. Um, just the tactile feel of the leather right here uh, tells me that this car really wasn't just really well cared for, it was completely babied. Take a look at the layout, it's a common Mustang layout, pretty simple. Uh, obviously you got your turn signal and wipers over here. Tilt wheel, uh, cruise control as well, but super comfortable seats. The SVT seats are really supportive. Uh, they do have uh, adjustable lumbar on this side uh, as well as bolsters and you do have uh, power seat adjustments uh, for the driver. But looking up here, uh, obviously air conditioning, your climate control there. Uh, below that you're going to find the Mach Audio sound system. This is a six disc in-dash CD changer, uh, paired very well for a convertible. So you're not going to get a lackluster sound system with a top down. You do have traction control, so in your uh, all season motoring, you really can still get around. Uh, if you chose to turn it off there for whatever purpose, if you want to do a burnout or the like, uh, go right ahead. You've got the six speed manual here, uh, just it's nice and uh, Stick shifter, you can literally rip off shifts, it'll, it'll allow you to do so. Our top operation is simple. Press the button, hold it with the park brake set. Put right down, a couple of fasteners, latch those and you're good to go. This car is so brand new, it's like in the first inch of travel. And the clutch, it's, 
takes up right there. I mean, the friction point it goes a lot higher, so you can tell the clutch just has never been abused. That's crazy. I mean, usually just a porter rip it on the car. Usually, it'll take a clutch out of that kind of that kind of condition. But it drives brand new. I mean, the alignment's dead on. Brakes are brand new. Obviously, the tires are brand new, so they're silent. But I mean, that clutch is so crisp. It's almost feels like it still needs to be broken in a little bit. That's how crisp it is. It's so abrupt on the take up, and that's a good thing, obviously. Like I said, this is not a compromised car in any possible way. Uh, if it said, you know, 300 miles on the odometer, you'd, you'd probably still believe it. it. It's in that condition. But it doesn't. It says 4692 on it. So it'll probably eclipse the 4700 mark before we get back to the warehouse, but. Just glad I'm able to take it out for a spin. I guess I shouldn't be driving it so lightly. I'm kind of nursing it. This car wants to be driven. I don't think it's ever been driven, so it's kind of begging to be driven. All right, we're gonna take a spin on the highway here in the Cobra convertible, but this thing's brand new. Check this out. traction on there kind of killed me but holy cow there's no noise this is a convertible right there's no flex or noise in this platform I don't think this thing's ever been well I don't think it's ever seen a g-force like this just out cruising in this car uh, we're just on the surface streets now and it's really a very simple car to drive uh, like I said earlier the Mustang is a very conventional, easily uh, adaptable car. It doesn't feel too much different than any other conventional car, but uh, the quality of this car is probably beyond any Mustang I've seen in a long, long time. We just had a 7,000 mile coupe that was immaculate, and I don't, and a new body as well. Uh, I don't think it was as nice even as this car. Uh, everything feels so soft to the touch as if they wore gloves uh, every time they drove it. So I don't want to drive it too much longer because it's really that nice of a car that uh, I'll tell you actually, whoever buys this, I hope you shake my hand when I say that because I, I can't say enough without seeing it in person how truly close to brand new this car is. Uh, even just from the driving experience, I mean, just that downshift in the clutches. Roll on the powers, factory crisp. It's a hell of a car. I like driving these. Sincerely say, if you want a, a brand new version of this car, this is as close as it's going to come. Uh, aside from the odometer just showing 4,600 miles, uh, it's a brand new car. I'm absolutely floored. I mean, even the clutch takes up in the first inch of travel from the bottom uh, of the floorboard. So it's been so well babied. Um, I would be hard pressed to find uh, another car that I could replicate to match this kind of condition. Plus, it's a stunning color combo. I got a couple great pieces of information here. I've got the uh, Carfax Auto Check Vehicle History Reports. Uh, both of them show one owner and nothing beyond that. Uh, squeaky clean. So just a handful of uh, registration renewals. I also have the Ford uh, original factory window sticker. Now this is the 2003 SVT Cobra convertible. Uh, you got a thousand dollar gas guzzler tax charge. This is the 10th anniversary wheel, which is why this car is uh, equipped with that wheel. But uh, all in all put together, the MSRP was 40900 on this Cobra convertible. But check out 60 pictures of this Cobra online. You're gonna find us at our website, chicagocarsdirect.com. And then after you check that out, check out our YouTube channel. Go to youtube.com slash chicagocarsdirect. You'll find a bunch of highlights of a lot of our previous vehicles and also some of the other ones that we currently have in inventory. But thanks for spending some time to see this Unreal Cobra today. And check in with us next time. We'll see you soon.